Demonstrators started outside the U.S. Capitol as lawmakers inside said 2020 presidential electoral votes needed to be certified. Not far away, President Trump again told a crowd of supporters about disproven election fraud. Because they want to steal the election. The radical left knows exactly what they're doing. He told supporters to take that message to lawmakers in the Capitol. Some took it to heart. Just after 2 p.m. Eastern time, a crowd knocked down barriers and clashed with U.S. Capitol Police. Both officers and the pro-Trump mob used chemical agents like tear gas. The crowd pushed up to the Capitol door, smashing glass. By 2.30, they breached the building. Inside congressional chambers, the debate was put on hold. As lawmakers hunkered down, some given these plastic gas masks. The world watched on social media, images showing windows to the chamber shattered, security pointing guns through the shards at the crowd trying to get in. Is that a gun shot? Viewers online could hear shots fired. Outside, injured Capitol Police could be seen treating their eyes for chemicals. Some went to the hospital. By 2.45 p.m., lawmakers started evacuating, some sheltering in their offices. But some pro-Trump demonstrators broke into offices like House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's. Meanwhile, some in the crowd looted the Capitol. This man shown carrying away a podium. Our democracy is under an unprecedented assault. As President-elect Joe Biden called on violence to stop, President Trump tweeted, quote, For everyone at the U.S. Capitol to remain peaceful, we are the party of law and order. About an hour later, he released a video repeating that the election was stolen. But you have to go home now. We have to have peace. We love you. You're very special. As millions asked how this violence could happen, reinforcements moved in from FBI SWAT, National Guard, Homeland Security, D.C. Metropolitan Police, and authorities from Maryland, Virginia, and New Jersey. After nearly four hours, officials declared the U.S. Capitol complex secure just before 6 o'clock. I'm Galen Etlin for KGW News.